guys. This is once again Mr. Ceiling Fan Guy. Um, I did a tutorial on how to wire a um, a uh, why a, a light kit from a ceiling fan with a plug. Well, now today I'm going to show you how to wire it with a pull chain, so you can operate it um, without having to unplug it. Without have well, you can turn it off without having to unplug it. It's really handy. So first of all, when we get Let's get started. We're going to dewire nut these. Okay, we're going to get those. I'm going to kind of untwist them. Okay. Now I'm gonna, I only need to unwire, I only need to do one wire nut actually. Whoops. Oh well, we can twist this one back on. It's all good. There we go. All we need is this wire nut right here. I mean, all you need is this wire. And the blue wire because we're going to create a bridge with the um, ceiling fan pull chain the on off pull chain right here so I don't need any wire nuts because this thing wire is already stripped so anyways let's unwrap that in supersonic speed shall we there we go that's much more like it got it unwrapped pretty quickly so, we can discard that. We don't want that. We don't need it anyway. So, yeah, here we go then. Let's go ahead and uh, start twisting these wires together. We're just going to create like a bridge on only one wire. So, we're going to do one wire from the pull chain goes to one side, and one wire from the other wire from the pull chain goes to the other side. Goes <clears throat> from the wire of the object, and then the wire from the main power to the, going to the object. So we're going to go ahead and get that. Alright, so now we're going to get that wire nut on this one first, for some reason. Now we're going to get this one wire nut. Now we are going to fasten this on here somewhere. Now I'm using something cheap, hot glue. I'm not gonna like fasten it on there weirdly, like on there um, drilling a hole or something, or you know what I'm talking about welding it or something. But anyways, I'm going to pause video and I'm gonna get that fastened go there we go got it fastened on I decided to put it in the middle and kind of turn it off from these wires here because I don't want to end up trying to reach in between here and kind of pull in the chain I decided to put it right there works perfectly kind of have, have to grab it a little bit but it fastened on there better than I thought it would despite hot glue doesn't bond very well with metal so I think I, I think the brand of this hot glue works better for metal than anything else. So I did real good. So, anyways, there's your tutorial on how to wire how to wire up a pull chain with a um, ceiling fan light kit that didn't have a pull chain. It was previously on a remote control um, ceiling fan. Didn't have a pull chain with it or anything. But if you want to really get fancy, you can go ahead and drill a hole through here if you know all that stuff. And then you can use use this to your advantage, but I'm using this, I'm using this anyway to kind of keep the chain guided a little bit, because, I mean, I can take that off and try and see how that works. I'll see. Let's look anyway, let's see how it works. Works perfectly, but for looks, I like the kind of brass look it has, so I'm going to keep it on there. Well, if I can get it to thread through. There we go. Oh. Yeah, kind of messed up. Oh. I'm not even threading it properly. Wow. Got to remember the righty tighty lefty loosey rule. I remember that, but <laughs> I'm using my left hand, so 
My left hand is kind of different. So yeah. It is kind of hard to pull and stuff like that. Like, you got to kind of pick at it. And you're going to have the shades on there and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get the shades on and two light bulbs in there. We'll see how it works. And, of course, if you want to get fancy, you can put a four-way pull chain on there where it turns on this light first. It turns off this, the second pull, and then turns these on. And the third pull, it just turns them all on. And the fourth pull, obviously, turns them all off. So let's go ahead and get these shades on there, and I'll come back with you. All right, so there it is with shades on it. So now it is time to plug it in and see how it works. It might come on and it might not when I plug it in directly, but let's see. I'm very surprised how well the uh, hot glue bonded with that metal, though. That's um, brass right there. I guess brass is better with hot glue than anything, any kind of metal. Oh, wow, that's bright. Okay, so, oops. All right, so let's see if the pull chain works. Sure does. That's a 10-4 right there. Works really well. So yeah, there's your little tutorial. Alright, so I told you I was going to come back and do that, and I sure did. I'll actually try and take this one out, because that one's way too bright. There we go. So yeah. And, of course, I did put that um, Edison bulb model in there. Uh, the, the thumbnail, the last tutorial that I did to show you how to put the plug on it in general, um, in, the, in the thumbnail, I had uh, all four light bulbs in it. Uh, it, it they were LED. Um, I didn't do that this time. I just unplugged it. I, I, didn't, do, um, I didn't do that. I just, just now... I did it like this instead, like I did last time during the tutorial, not after when I took the picture for the thumbnail. So those those light bulbs, I didn't want to bring them back out yet uh, any anyway, because those light bulbs came from my bathroom. I wanted to, I had exactly four light bulbs in the uh, fixture in the bathroom, and I uh, put them all in there just for the thumbnail. But for this thumbnail, it's just going to be me holding the box. Um, you may not see it right after the video is uploaded, maybe it'll... Because, you know, the, the random thumbnail chooser. But anyways, after the video, I'm going to try and uh, go as fast as I can and go to uh, YouTube Creator Studio and adjust the thumbnail to my custom thumbnail where I'm holding the box with the pull chain in it and, and this beside it with the shades on it. And I'm just, like, holding it right next to the thing. So, yeah. Hope you all like this tutorial. I sure like doing it, because I honestly think this worked out pretty good. Looks good, too. I'm just not sure how comfortable it is to reach in between here and pull that. But, you know, I'll figure out. I mean, I could put an extension on there, a very tiny extension. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just keep it that way. You just have to have small hands. I have big hands. But anyways, guys, there is the uh, part, uh, I'm, I'm not even going to call it part two, but there is the uh, second tutorial on how to um, uh, put a pull chain on there. So yeah, now you can just, just keep it plugged in and then click that and it'll turn off and turn on. Plug it in one last time, I think it's going to come on. Nope, never mind then. Oh. I just took the bulb out of it. <laughs> I forgot I put the bulb... I took the bulb out not just a little few seconds ago. You, you probably saw it, but I didn't remember. You saw it, I couldn't remember it. So. See, when I pull the chain while it's up against the metal, it sounds more like a cheap ceiling fan pull chain pull. You can hear the metal ting, but you can still hear it that way, too. Well, um, that's the tutorial on how to put a uh, pull chain on a ceiling fan light kit with the plug. I mean, yeah, I didn't really want to... If you don't want to um, find a 
proper ceiling fan that has this light kit, compatible light kit, then you can just do this. So, uh, and turn it into a nice lamp. Um, you can have it like this, or you can turn it upside down, or you can turn it um, the way that the fan would have it, and just have the insides exposed or something. I mean, I guess that's if you want to do that. I'd like it this way, so that way uh, all the wiring and stuff in the inside is not showing. But yeah, I know all the sockets work on this thing. I'm holding my little remote clicker so I can end the video in a second. But anyways, there's your delightful tutorial. I think you guys liked my last tutorial. Um, my last tutorial was actually putting the plug on here in the first place. Then, the pull chain. So anyways, guys, there's your tutorial, and thank you so much for watching.